You notice that the Biden administration started its first two years taking a very hard line on China because they wanted to show that they were as macho as the Trump administration. But I think when things got really difficult, then they said, oh, maybe we should pause and try to find a way of at least keeping a certain degree of balance. And that's why, as you know, Jake Sullivan uh, just recently uh, came to Beijing. So there, there will be an effort on both sides to try and avoid an outright war. I, I understand he's the first US president since Jimmy Carter not to have visited China. I mean, to be fair, it was partly because of COVID, but even since then, it's such a tragedy that he's not been able to go. But unfortunately, domestic politics in the United States made Biden, made life impossible for Biden because he couldn't afford to be seen to be soft on China. If you're seen to be soft on China, you lose elections in the United States. But, and so I think his challenge now is that if he sees Xi Jinping before the November 6th election, Trump will immediately say, you see, the Democrats are soft on China. Yeah. So he's got to wait till after November 6. But then if, if, for example, if Trump wins and Biden meets Xi Jinping, everybody will say, what's the point? It's a lame duck <laughs> meeting, right? Even though in theory, it's always good for leaders to meet. So I think the Biden administration is caught in a really impossible position because if he tries to meet Xi before the elections, he may undermine Kamala. And if he meets Xi after the election, then people will say, what's the point? Well, well I mean, in, in some ways, I mean, I, it, it'd be very, very difficult for President Joe Biden to deliver any long-term promises because he's going to step down, you know? Now, but despite that, if they want to meet, we should encourage it. Definitely encourage it. Because every time leaders meet, especially leaders of competing powers, even if they can remove misunderstandings with each other, it'd be very, very useful. And by the way, they can meet in Laos, they can meet in Brazil, they can also meet in Peru yeah. at the APEC meeting. So there are three opportunities. Plus, frankly... If I was Joe Biden, I'd go to Beijing.